Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a kit by Hobby Boss. Um, it does look like a really cool kit. It is the A4M Skyhawk. This is 148 scale, again, by um, Hobby Boss. Nice bit of artwork on here. We've got some um, markings just on the side, two sets of markings with this kit, which is rather cool. Um, now this is by Hobby Boss. It's a pretty new um, tool as well. Uh, it was around about 2016. It was a new tool, so we should be looking at something rather, rather good. Um, just to start off, we have the fuselage section. So let's just zoom in on this uh, fuselage section. Um, hopefully you can sort of see, we do have recess panel lines on this kit. Um, admittedly, you know, it is, it's, it seems to be in scale. Um, there is a load of sort of nice rivet work on here as well as we sort of go along. I will sort of say though, the, the um, the recessed panel lines do seem a little bit maybe shallow. It's sort of borderline um, whether it's going to take a wash well or not. Um, you know, it's, it's sort of one of those things until you don't sort of, it, it's, it's just really sort of close. I mean, I'd kind of recommend sort of lightly rescribing all over. Uh, but then at the same time you could get away with it um, in a wash. Um, it's just the one thing I've noticed about this kit, um, just kind of bear that in mind. Maybe sort of, I don't know, take a piece and sort of test it, see if it takes a wash maybe. Um, but it is, it is, it, it is really sort of close when, when you look at it. Um, we do have the instrument display panel just here you can um, sort of make out you know all the dolls and stuff there's a nice bit of detail in there not really seeing any flash i mean it is quite nice they do include a nice set of ladders in one piece just here as well um, there is a little bit of detail on the inside of the cockpit which um, it's quite cool you can sort of um, see quite a bit of detail just in there um, the same the opposite side um, as well looking pretty good we've got our exhaust here as well you can just see some sort of fins just inside there um, looking looking rather good uh, the next piece for this kit we do have some more surface detail um, admittedly on this sprue the recess panel lines actually feel not so bad. It was just that fuselage um, I think really but you could sort of see that surface detail in there, uh, bags and bags of detail, looking all rather, rather good. Um, wheel well detail, not bad. We can see hoses in that in there. Top of the wing section, um, you know, we can see loads of nice sort of rivet work in there, raised detail where it's due. Um, again, it does look quite good. Um, ejector pin marks, uh, not really seeing any in sort of nasty places on that sprue. Does look really, really good. Um, I don't want to get every single sprue out um, just to speed things up because, you know, once you've sunned the surface detail, you're pretty good. But here we do have, let's maybe zoom out a little bit. Here on this sprue, we do have loads of nice fuel tanks, um, some side winders and the fins that go with it. Um, looks just as good as the rest of the kit. Um, we've got some more bits just in this one more fuel tanks in here also um, it is packed full of fuel tanks here this is like a du duplicate sprue in there as well um, then we have this sprue here which has got all sorts of little bits and bobs on here so let's just zoom you in um, we do have like um, land uh, our landing gear just here um, eject pin marks and not seeing them on there Flash is like non-existent with this kit, which is quite cool. Air brakes, we've got some lovely detail just inside there if you do wanna open them up. And there's a bit of detail on the front side. Um, we've got our air intake in here. You can just see that fan in there looking all nice. Looks really nice and smooth inside there as well. So we haven't got to worry about any seam lines or anything like that. Um, we've got some more 
wheel well detail, the front wheel well just here, which you know you can see hoses in there and all that cool stuff. Um, no eject pin marks in there. Front landing gear, no eject pin marks. I've got them nicely out the way. It is one piece with the wheel as well. Uh, I have noticed with this kit a lot of it kind of comes in a, a, a bit of a, a one piece. You'll see in the instructions in a bit. Um, pylons, you know, they have got recessed panel lines and stuff in there. Uh, there should be an ejector seat. See, see what I mean? Even the ejector seat, the ejector seat, it's all just one piece. Um, making things a little bit easier to build and you know there's still a, a, a nice amount of detail in there still um, cockpit the uh, actual cockpit tub just here got a couple of dials and stuff on there showing off a bit of the detail there um, detail is looking rather rather nice um, last sprue again I'm not going to get these out because this is all just weapons now there's two of these sprues in here and as you can see loads of free fall bombs um, multiple rack ejection systems as well which is going to just make this a really um, beefy beefy aircraft for its size um, then to finish off we've got um, oh, the canopy section here's our canopy section nicely um, nicely sort of packaged here to keep it all nice and we open this up and it does look an absolute beauty um, very nice and shiny and crisp we have no seam line running down this so we've got to put no work in to that top marks for that canopy just there let's have a look at our um, decals so we'll just pop out these decals maybe zoom you out a little bit um, let's just take off the front sheet Ooh, let's cut this I've got this nicely taped down all right both ends so we can sort of keep our protective sheet as you can see um, looking good looking at this um, I do believe they are by um, um, hobby boss it does look does feel like they are not too thick or too thin um, a lot of nice colors in there admittedly we do have um, what looks to be like it's got a little bit sticky with the protective film and it's kind of leave these little sort of marks where it looks matte um, um, and it looks sort of shiny in places as you could probably see just there probably more so here um, which that should be fine I mean the matte and the the varnish side of things never really a big deal personally because we're always going to put a gloss coat on your decals and then we're going to probably finish it off with a matte coat and it does sort out those problems although that might look a little bit off right now um, it should be absolutely fine uh, again everything's in registry everything's looking good color wise the writing is small and you can just about sort of read some of it as well um, so the decals they do look good but don't be put off by that little um, sort of marking of it um, just there then we have the instructions which is nice A4 um, plain standard paper not in colour we do have um, this colour call out sheet which shows you um, the, the, um, the actual colour scheme of this um, as well as decals and markings uh, and we have two sets for this also I do like this one to, to be fair uh, and we do also have colour call outs for Mr Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Tamiya, Humbro so it's nice for them to include all those different manufacturers of paints uh, <coughs> then we have the cockpit area again you know everything is just so kind of almost one piecey one piece for the eject well two piece for the ejector seats um, and there you go your, your your whole cockpit area is pretty sort of built pretty pretty quick um, and it's almost like a world war ii fighter in the sense that you bring your two fuselage halves together then your two parts of your wing section which then goes on to your fuselage pretty quick pretty sort of easy which is what i'm liking about this kit um, these intake areas i mean there might be a slight sort of be careful on fitting that because 
those kind of air takes on pretty much any type of model it can be a little bit problematic just there um, moving along we have air brakes open or closed uh, da -da -da, moving along um, loads and loads of um, pylons um, for this which is all really sort of cool um, landing gear just in there which I do believe you can have up or down um, a rester hook at the back um, fuel tanks you got your ladder nice and cool then we've got all these different weapons with um, the ejection systems and stuff really really cool and then at the back it sort of gives you a little bit of a rundown of like where we can put all these different weapons on here so um all in all i think this is a fantastic kit i mean it is around about maybe the 35 to 40 pound mark which uh, actually isn't bad for 148 scale modern jet brand new tooling of 2016 detail looks lovely an absolute ton of weapons two sets of markings um nice looking decals should fit together rather rather nicely i would love to build this myself and definitely a big thumbs up the only thing i could really sort of grumble about really was on the fuselage um as i say it is borderline for those recessed panel lines whether they're going to take a wash well or not i mean they're, they're probably they're going to probably take a wash a, to a degree but it almost seems like you're going to have maybe some areas of that fuselage is a little bit sort of faded um, and not sort of deep enough to take a wash so maybe a little bit of a rescribe um, but as I say, I've never I haven't built this kit or done it or, or, or um, done a wash on it it just as an experience they do do seem a little bit thin so maybe um, you know go do some research on that yourself or or maybe test a little piece or something but that's the only thing I could probably grumble about this kit apart from that definitely a big thumbs up and a well recommended kit so hopefully you've enjoyed this inbox view here at Genesis Mall so until the next time my name is Bobby Waldron and I'll catch you later